For Global Trails Media, Tano TV, and KRAM Radio News, I'm Randy Roberson. Officials are reporting the police fire west and north of Payson did not see a lot of growth yesterday, but Todd Abel, one of the operations section chiefs for John Pearson's Type 1 incident management team who took over management of the fire, says, along with many other teams, six Type 1 hotshot teams will be busy on that fire again today. So starting right here where the fire is up on Polo's Mesa, uh, we have two divisions up there with uh, six uh, hotshot crews. Um, they're working really hard to try to get containment on this fire. The issues that we're having is that this is juniper country. The juniper trees are eight to nine, ten feet tall, uh, and they and the fire moved by spotting. So there's a so think there's thousands of spot fires out here that the firefighters are trying to find them all, get around them, uh, line them, use helicopters to try to put them out. So the work is very difficult. Um, it's hard to find where all the heat is and it's not a place we can just go put a hand line around and, and call it good because this, this fire goes by spotting. So it gets up in the crowns of trees and throws spots out ahead of it. Um, we're, we're in a good spot because we've got retardant around all of it. Uh, we're still concerned about what can happen with the winds that are going to come up and the potential for fire to cross uh, those lines. But they've been doing really good work up there. We didn't have any fire growth yesterday and so that's a positive thing uh, for us. Outside the fire, we continue to be prepared for any of these spot fires going and causing this fire to move further. Um, along the north end here of our uh, planning area, we were able to tie in together a lot of the fuels treatments that Tunnel National Forest has done using existing roads and trails. And so we've put in some dozer line. We've done a little work around some roads to make sure that uh, we've got a good line in place if this fire was to continue to move north. Uh, focusing on the east side of the fire, uh, we're working again to piece together forest roads, Highway 87, uh, to make sure we can have a, a potential containment line if fire was to move. Um, they've been uh, focusing our structure protection down at Tano National Natural Bridge and the Arrowhead Estates. So a lot of work's been going on, a lot of prep work to make sure that if we can't keep this in its box, that we're ready to uh, protect the values at risk that are around the fire. That's your update. Stacy Figueroa with the Pine Strawberry Fire Department says, depending on the winds, all surrounding communities could see and smell smoke as well as get some falling ash today. Figueroa says smoke should start to be visible mid to late afternoon. Officials warn do not be alarmed, but starting today, Sheriff's Office and CERT volunteers will begin some door-to-door -door knocking in Pine and Strawberry just to make sure that everyone's aware of the situation. They're out to make sure that everyone understands that they are to be in ready stage right now and that they're signed up for the county emergency alert system. In other REM country news, the Department of Health Services said in a statement yesterday that more than 62,000 of the 101,441 reported cases of COVID-19 involve people younger than 44. DHS Director Dr. Kara Chris said it's those between the ages of 20 and 44 who can drive community spread of COVID-19. And they're the group that went out to Arizona's bars and nightclubs en masse after Governor Doug Ducey ended his stay-at-home orders in mid-May. The governor closed nightclubs and gyms again last week in an effort to slow the surge of virus cases, which have nearly doubled in the past two weeks. She went on to say those younger people often show no or only minor symptoms and can unknowingly spread the disease. More concerning, Chris said, they can bring it home to their older parents or grandparents who are at a much higher risk of serious or fatal complications. It's a huge fear, Chris said. Well, the state of Arizona reported 3,352 new cases, one new death, and 14,453 new tests administered. 16 additional positive cases have been found here in Gila County. None of the cases in Payson are associated with the Rim Country Health outbreak. New confirmed cases in Gila County include three in Globe, nine here in Payson, three in Pine, and one in Star Valley. County health officials are currently investigating 23 cases, including two in Globe, one in Miami, 16 in Payson, three in Pine, and one in Star Valley. In our good news segment today, we take you to Brazil. 
A touching video from Brazil shows a woman and a cow performing a heartwarming duet. Shot in the idyllic countryside, the footage shows Patricia Varela Pavano singing while she relaxes in a barn with a cow known as Master Siddhartha Gautama. As Patricia continues to sing, the bovine sweetly joins in with melodic moves that are guaranteed to melt your heart. Well, now taking a look at Rim Country weather, a dry southwest flow aloft is going to be producing some dry conditions and near to above normal temperatures throughout midweek. A disturbance brushing Arizona today and Wednesday will lead to gusty southwest winds. Late in the week, a strong high pressure system is forecast to build over the United States, producing the hottest temperatures of the year so far. For Global Trails Media, Tano TV, and KRIM Radio News, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great Tuesday.